heard about it is through you, Chair, when you told me the member for Elders uh, would request an answer, a response on that. I want to plead with the committee to give me time to prepare a statement. I'm aware of the matter, but I need an updated, verifiable statement. I am aware of what happened, and I'm aware that uh, some progress is being made uh, to make sure there is accountability. Um, but uh, I am afraid, Chair, I will not have a, a quality statement because I was not prepared uh, before this meeting began. I submit. Maybe I'll give uh, uh, Kenan to respond, uh, Waziri. But I think I was honest to say that uh, you did reply the first statement, which actually uh, the, the members were not satisfied. They asked me through the speaker to look for updated, as you put it, which I did talk to your officers yesterday. Uh, but I don't deny the fact that maybe the notice was too short for you to. But maybe I don't know whether the MP for Elda, Elda's, Elda's will comment on that. Uh, thank you, Chairman, and thank you, Waziri. Uh, Waziri, we, are, we all understand that security is very dynamic, very complex, and highly sensitive. That notwithstanding, this is the 16th day an elected leader is missing. We all understand, Waziri, Kenya is a member a responsible member of the international community. And over the years, we have prided ourselves as a security hub, as a conferencing hub, as leading everything. But we are forgetting that in this era, we have social media as one of the emerging arms of government. And this is the reality. We have lived with the three traditional arms. The first arm, you may not agree because you are a member of the executive, is parliament, the legislature. Uh, the executive and the judiciary. Right now, we have the social media effect, we have uh, the NGO community, and many other imagined arms of government. What I really don't understand is not understanding the definitional issue. In my mind, as a leader who has been around, I don't know that I have your attention, sorry. In my mind, as a leader who has been around, who's familiar with the modus operandi? Eleven had even modus vivendi of our security agencies, which you had. You are the civilian face of the homeland security. When such a high profile me, I'm persuaded it's abduction. And it can have two faces. When we have put all these efforts to project Kenya, to promote Kenya, locally, regionally, internationally, and yet, and even our forces are there in Haiti. Why is Haiti there in that state? Because of the effects of Gunism and gangsters and everything else that the administration then failed to act on. Is it what is happening in Kenya right now? I step towards that direction. Because a leader has been abducted, a leader is missing, to use the police word. In, you, a leader is, cannot be accounted for, yet to death other than the mayor OP acknowledgement in Makadara police station. We are yet to see a high level response from the security agencies. That compounds the challenge in this era, Waziri, of constitutional accountability, adherence to the rule of law and accountability. You have used the word constitutional accountability. By now, we expected that every day we'll be getting progress report. I do not want to downplay the comment that you have made, that you are making some progress and therefore you will issue a comprehensive test because we also understand that sometimes some of these things require uh, 
uh, a lot of delicate handling. But what compounds Waziri? Put yourself in the shoes of the voters of that elected representative, the family, the relatives, his representative who is talking to you. No statement, nothing, business as usual, nothing is happening. So, Waziri, I want to give you lead questions, which you also understand. On 6, on uh, 6 August, this particular state officer, leader, was summoned by the county security committee who were there. For whatever reason, I learned this recently. And they have every right to interact with everybody. The same person, on August, uh, on 10th September, the entire Homeland Security heads were also in Wajia. On 11th September, the gentleman traveled to Nairobi. On 13th, he went missing, he was abducted. The, 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 the location, so as a result of our collective efforts, that we have CCTVs everywhere. This honorable member called for the service of an Uber driver. He has made a statement, he has made an affirmation on, under, off, which I also tabled through the chairman before the house. So, Waziri, and I know you are a lawyer, an astute lawyer, criminal responsibility is individual. I do not want to delve into that. But equally, we must also be accountable to the due process of law. That due process of law is what we are questioning. I want to believe with you. And I will say this without fear, without favor, without any contradiction, without an iot of doubt. And you know I'm an old, seasoned, experienced legislator and I've been around. If this particular leader has committed any crime, he's supposed to be before a court of law, not in detention, not in the name of abduction. What you have done, the achievements that you have made over the last two years as the substantive CS internal security, for those of us who have been around, is commendable. But some of these silly actions, you can call them rowdy officers, overzealous officers, you can call them of lack of uncle, whatever name that you call them, completely destroys that mega, that big image that you have been trying to build. And I am also alive to the sensitivity and the challenge that you sometimes you go through. So I want to believe with you as we wait for that comprehensive res uh, response. If it was in other jurisdictions, you know it. By now, an elected missile in Missy, some people will have taken responsibility, personal responsibility. It has two aspects. I assume even in the worst case scenario, which is not in this case, that he has been abducted by criminal elements. Do you want to say that Kenya is a banana republic? Why are these criminal elements who, are, who have been abducting people, and so many people have been released, why are they not being taken into court? Because here you understand this. Me and you have gone to the same university. You understand this. That's not one of the terms that we have been taught. It is not. It's completely outside that. Can this... You know... By now, I think you are familiar with our culture. I have the entire community in Nairobi. So you can also imagine the burden. The entire community, because their leader is missing. I have to recharge my telephones every second, every minute, because of the calls. I have nothing to say. In fact, the assumption is, because I'm an experienced legislator and I've been around, I can talk to all of you and say, yes, I've talked to all of you. Everybody is in denial. What message will I say? So I want to plead with you, whoever is holding this guy, and they know where they are, and please, wherever you are, you know, you know yourselves. Release this MCA. That's okay, which we can Yeah, Release this MCA. <laughs> if you have evidence enough that can warrant him, just like we have written, because all of us are accountable to the rule of law. That's what separates us. Take him to court. Thank you, Wazir. Okay, can you remember, I want to guide us this, eh? Uh, I think the CS have actually asked that we give time to give more updated and comprehensive response. 
the latest. I appreciate the reasons and the ground why, of course, you need to say something. But 